What's up guys and welcome back to the fourth episode of Daily Minecraft Mods. Today's feature comment comes from Tom and says, Greetings from Poland and much love my broski. Thank you so much for the kind words and wow, from Poland, that's just honestly awesome. As always, I've got the five mods listed in the description of this video, as well as the timestamps. Let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into it. Overhauled Overworld completely overhauls your Minecraft world into a much more detailed, thick, and characteristic world where most of your biomes are much more diverse. Snowy tundra, snowy mountains, and ice spikes are vastly different and are much wider and much more detailed. One of my favorite changes is the Taiga Mountains. You will find huge changes that change the terrain into a much more enjoyable experience to explore. Savannas are now fairly lush with how many trees there are. There's also a few new biomes like the Shattered Savannah Plateau, Modified Jungles, and much more. If you're looking for a mod that expands vanilla biomes and doesn't seem too ridiculously crazy, then this should be the perfect mod for you. Twist is a mod that adds new content through biomes. This mod currently adds a new charred forest biome and a volcano biome, along with new nether and end content. You can see both of these biomes are worn and torn down and are very smoky. This mod adds brand new decorative blocks that can be used for structures and also adds a new mob called the Howl, which is an undead fox variant. Going over the end dimension changes, you will find a brand new interdimensional rift, which are large stretched mass and muscle, which is the result of the end colliding with the other dimensions. Chargers are a brand new mob which are mushroom like enemies that physically charge at you. There's also giant mushrooms that you can bounce on when jumping on top of it. This mod is a very well created mod, adding in very interesting new structures, blocks, mobs, and much more. Rotten Piglins enhances and changes the way piglins work. This mod adds two new variants of new piglins. The first piglin you may encounter is the Rotten Burning Piglin. This new piglin spawns in the nether waste and has 20 HP. He does 4 hearts of damage and can catch you on fire when attacking you. He is actually a fairly fast mob and is always aggressive towards the player. They also for some odd reason hate striders and will attack them when they have the chance. A pretty mean mob if you ask me. The last piglin variant is called the Rotten Great Warrior. He lives in the Soul Sand Valley and has 88 HP and does 9 damage. This piglin is very dangerous and is only viable to beat if you have full netherite gear. He also hates zoglins and will attack them whenever he feels like it. Simple Planes adds brand new flyable vehicles in your world, ranging from a helicopter, a regular plane, and a large plane. These brand new simple planes let you traverse the world much faster and are great for when you don't have an Elytra just yet. Not only are these planes able to just simply fly around, but you can actually upgrade your planes at the same time. You can also make your planes turn into a fighter jet by placing dispensers on both sides of your wings. That way you can shoot either arrows or fire charges at your opponents. You can also use TNT to bomb sections of your world with it. There's even compatibility with storage and can place your chests inside of them. If you've ever looked for a mod that expands on flight and also wanted vehicles, then this is the perfect mod for you. And the last mod we have on this list is the Follow Me mod. This extremely simple mod lets you make specific mobs follow you by commanding them to do so. To get any entity to follow you, simply shift plus right click on the mob and it will start to follow you after that. If you want to make it stop following you however, you can press the letter J on your keyboard and they will stop following you after that. This mod can be an insanely great time saver, especially trying to get animals in a farm if you don't have the right food for them to follow you. And that is it for episode 4 of Daily Minecraft Mods. I hope all of you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here. Anyways, I will see you guys with the next Daily Minecraft Mods video on Wednesday.